Like a bit of casual filming here. We went to uh, we ran into a bike shop the other day as we usually do. Uh, one bike that uh, caught our eye was a BMW race track bike. They call it HP4, and it retails at sixty eight thousand quid. Now, what caught our eye when we walked into the showroom was the amount of carbon fibre and the attention to detail. It just stood out from all the other bikes. Uh, the HP4 is basically a 1000cc inline four cylinder bike. It's got a BMW uh, race engine in it which develops uh, 215 brake horsepower at 14,000 RPM. It's a MotoGP World Super Bike full blown racetrack uh, bike. It's not a road bike. I wish it was a road bike. I'll tell you what, you'd have so much fun on this bike, it'd be unbelievable. Uh, the frame, you had to see the frame to believe it, it was full carbon fibre. Uh, they call it a monocoque RTM frame produced by BMW, it just looks magnificent. Now the front suspension, that was a work of art in itself, as you can see uh, it's full Olin's, uh, it's World Superbike spec, FGR 300 forks with all the uh, track adjustable pre-load uh, pre and compression dampening is what you could ever want. The rear suspension again, World Superbike, it's Olin's. They call it a TTX uh, 36 uh, and it also includes obviously a lightweight milled out World Superbike spec aluminium swing arm. Now the wheelbase of this bike, I measured it, was around 1,440 millimetres and I noticed the steering head angle was around 65 degrees, which I think you can obviously adjust it. It's a track uh, bike, so everything's adjustable on this. Now, I mean, looking at the pictures, uh, as you can see, the wheels were amazing, full carbon fibre. Now I noticed they, they've included the, they've obviously pre-press uh, pre fitted the wheel spacers and bushes to make it easier to swap or exchange if you need to, if you're on the track and uh, it's in the pits. Brilliant, brilliant bike. Carbon, unbelievable. Now the front tyres were Prelli Diablo World Superbike Slick SE2s on the front and on the back again they were 265 ZR 17s. The HP4 has got solid, lightweight, milled out footrests. Eight different positions on the you could adjust them. The seat height was very low, 816 millimeters, and I think the standard height of the the seat would be 846 millimeters. Now with all this World Superbike uh, carbon fibre lightweight technology only weighs 146 kilograms. But I think with the World Superbike rules it's got to weigh 172 or 171 kilograms. It's a very, very light bike indeed at 146 kilograms. Now it's obviously cost BMW a lot more money in which to produce this bike than what they're selling it for. They're selling it for, as I said, 68,000 quid. Looking at all the bits on it and the technology in it, I'd say you've got a bike here which is easy worth 150,000 quid. Now, it comes with a whole host of goodies, which includes things like, obviously, uh, lightweight rear paddock stands, spare sprockets, launch control, and it's even got a pit limiter. Can you imagine that on the road, a pit limiter? I'd love this bike. I mean, we've got some Dugatis at the moment, but this on the track, you'd be smiling. So well done, BMW. Fantastic bike. It looks brilliant. I bet it race on the, on the track. It absolutely races superbly. Lightweight, beautiful to look at. Uh, and it's limited numbers, obviously you can see. It's got a limit, uh, a plaque on the on the uh, steering head. Brilliant bike, loved it.